Jiang Song Creature Part 2 wraps up with a surprising cliffhanger twist, leaving fans eager for Season 2. Let's talk about the final scenes of Season 1 Part 2. Chaiok, our main character, finds herself at the bottom of what appears to be a lake along with her mother, who is in monster form now. Then, her mother heals or resurrects her by transferring Nijin to her, bringing Chaiok back to life. In a post-credits scene, it starts by depicting Korea's history. However, events swiftly leap forward by decades, showcasing significant moments throughout history, including a pandemic. The scene then pans out to reveal an old TV being watched by a young man dressed in modern clothes, with a scar on the back of his neck. As he opens the windows, the outside is unveiled as modern-day Seoul, South Korea. Then, we hear someone enter and call the man, Ho Jae. The man turns, and he looks exactly like Jang Tae Sang. But how can Tae Sang be alive in modern day and look the same many decades later? Could Park So Joon be portraying a new character in season 2 somehow connected to Tae Sang, sharing an uncanny resemblance? If that's the case, consider the possibility that Ho Jae might be the great grandson of Tae Sang. Jiang Song Creature Season 2 could revolve around a new generation of the family facing new challenges with new monsters. Another unaddressed mystery is who drank that mysterious glass of water. In Part 1, it hinted that Myongja likely drank the glass of water with Nijin, as Nijin is visible in her body in the post-credits scene. But what if she's not the one who drank it, but Tae Sang? We only saw Myongja already infected and going on a killing spree. Based on a glimpse of a flashback in Part 1, Taesang has the greatest likelihood of being the one who drank the contaminated water. He stopped by and seemed about to drink it, suggesting that he may have acquired the abilities of the creature without fully transforming. There's another theory going that individuals who consumed Nijin exhibit a characteristic of not aging at a normal rate, this could explain why Taesang looks the same in modern day. Perhaps the scar on his neck suggests a transformation or multiple tests, looking for an answer as to why he didn't age at all. Now that Kato has the child after assisting Myongja, who birthed a baby that inherited Nijin before she went unconscious, the baby might become the initial test subject for his ongoing research on Nijin. And maybe this child will be one of the villains in Season 2. When will Season 2 be released? Waiting time would not be a problem anymore as filming for Season 2 concluded last year. Here are some photos from the filming site last year. For now, there is no official release date, but rumors suggest that it will be included in this year's Netflix lineup. While we eagerly await the release of Season 2, the unanswered questions and unresolved plotlines only add to the intrigue.